Hello, this is Robin from City Sewing in New York, www.citysewing.com. Um, this time we're going to uh, show you a video how to assemble um, a commercial sewing machine table. Uh, this is the table you're going to get just like this when you order your sewing machine online from City Sewing. And you're going to get a table like this inside this box. You're going to get the drawer for the table. You're also going to get the tabletop itself and also the brackets. That supports the table. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open up this box here by cutting out the strips and then we're gonna show you what comes inside, okay? Okay, now we have the box open. Inside the box, this is what you're gonna get, okay? You have here one small drawer, the slide for the drawers right here. This is what's gonna slide the door for you to use the drawer. This is the belt you're going to get uh, with the table. You're going to get the ball joint and the ball joint adjust adjustable rod. The four small legs that goes underneath of the table for you to adjust the size of the table. You want this table to be nice and steady. You're going to get the hardware to put it together. The foot pedal, the one that you step on. You're going to get the brackets for the machine table front and back. And here underneath, we have the actual table. This is the table that we're going to put everything together to show you how to properly do, okay? The first step you want to do, you want to take those um, rubber pieces, the brackets for the table, and install it into the table. You don't have to worry about it making it tight because once you get your floor nice and even on your table, then you can make go back and tighten this up the way it goes. Okay. Now you're gonna see how the technician has the part of the man. Now he's gonna put it inside just like so. Make sure you put it in like that. You put it inside, and then you're gonna put the screws from the top. Those two screws right over here, one on the left and the one on the right. Okay. Pretty easy. You're just going to screw it in, one and two. You don't have to make this tight yet, okay? Don't make this extra tight because you will probably need to move it up and down before or after, okay? Now, we're going to show you how we let the table rest on the own screw just by pushing the table all the way down until it hits. Wow, well, now that it doesn't go any further, then we're going to make these screws tight and then we're going to have about 27 to 20 inch high on the table like i said it's the most popular size now we're going to um, put back the rubber again in the other one and remember that this doesn't have to be tight now because in the, we have to make sure that the floor is slow before we make this tight now we have finished in uh, assembly one of the legs now the technician is going to is going to do the second leg for the table as you can see now on the other side this is what it looks in the outside of the table now we're going to show you here now we're going to put the brackets together with the screws take the bracket and you see we have four holes we use the two in the center this one because when you set up the foot pedal you want it to be in between the table so we use the two sides uh, you could use it on the left or on the right but we recommend it to use the two in the center first now what we're going to do we're actually going to install the foot pedal into the foot pedal bracket right here okay so for that we're going to have uh, we have these two hardware with a screw and the nut that goes in the back we're going to show you how you assemble that into the foot pedal bracket okay now here we have the first bracket we're going to install it as you can see in this bracket you have one two three four five six opening so you want to make sure you take one here from left to right and you're going to install this one bracket just like so okay just like so and the first here you have one and the second one we're going to install it by putting the screw from the front to the back now okay now we're going to put the screw in there okay i'm going to drop in the screw and we put it put the nut underneath okay remember this one you don't want to over tight it you want to make sure that you leave it so in case you have to move it a little bit to the left or to the right you just leave it like that okay okay now we have the foot pedal right over here this is the back of it and this is the front the front part of it is the one that has the bracket 
that will connect to the motor okay so the right the, this is the foot pedal now we're going to take the foot pedal and we're going to install it this foot pedal as you can see here it has a hole on the side we got to make sure that that hole connects to that little rod right over there just like that okay and then on the other side now we're going to take the second bracket just like so put it in just like that and then now we're going to put the screw from the front from the top to the bottom again to keep it together like this okay okay we just finished tightening up um, the screws for the foot pedal like i said it's important that you could see you see how the foot pedal is kind of touch the left you have to install it that way otherwise your foot is going to be crossed when you're trying to saw okay so we have the front over here and we have the two screws one in the left and one in the right you already make it tight with a size 14 wrench or you could use an adjustable wrench you could also use um, a, a screwdriver whatever you want just make sure you make this tight now here we have the two calyx we here have the bracket for the foot pedal and here we have the bracket for the back of the table that's what's going to make your table nice and strong okay so now we're going to go ahead and show you how to put together these four pieces that we have the bottom bracket for the foot pedal the back bracket for the table and the two legs together okay now we're going to show you how to install the first lead uh, for the table as you can see how it's going to go it's just like this um it, it, the, there's different sizes of tables so we like to do it this way we take an inch from front to back this is the back of the table okay this is the back part of the table we take an inch on the back and here on the slide of the belt we also leave one inch over there and one inch over here so you want to make it a straight one inch one inch and one inch in the back okay but look at the position of the tail of the legs okay this is how it's supposed to go inside this is the inside part of it and this is the outside of the table so this is how it's supposed to go okay and important this is the back part of the table as you can see um here is the hole for the machine this is the widest part in the back and the front it's a lot more smaller this is much wider so this is the back part of the table and this is your belt one inch on the left and one inch in the back okay also comes with four screws like this which is the one we're going to use to install the technician is going to install the back bracket the bracket that goes on the back of the table just like so it has also four screws remember all the screws it comes with this uh hardware comes with the table so when you open it make sure you got all all the screws and just install it just the way it goes like that this is the back of the table remember the back of the table okay now that we have the first uh, leg already installed into the table now we're going to take the second one just like that put it in lining up with the screws also the same screw remember we did not screw it into the table yet because we don't want to um we don't know exactly what's going to fit so first thing you put the screws on it first once you have the two screws on it you want to make sure that they are tight you want to make sure you tighten it first before you will screw it into the table we're going to give you a tip on that now we're going to install the foot bracket now it i wanted to show you these are the actually nuts that's going to hold the foot bracket into the table now i want to show you this we have not put this screw at the end remember we i did not screw it in i want to before i put those screws in i like to put the foot pedal on first just because once you put that in there sometimes if you don't have this right you might have to take the screws out again so by doing so once you have that screw bracket on the top already connected and tight then you will find it easy to get the one inch here in the back okay now we're going to proceed installing um the the foot pedal into the table um i want to show you this here this little bracket on the screw it's a it's the only one way to get in there so the best way to do it is just take that little um knot or, or yeah put it inside now put it in and just squeeze it in there hold it like that then you slide your your your, your bracket to make sure you find exactly where it's going to go right over there as you can see now now we're going to put the screw in there don't make it tight until you get the second one on the right position 
on this side here on the right now. We have finished installing the second bracket here in the back. Now we're gonna show you the right position where this is supposed to be so you get a better fit when you're working on the machine. Now we have finished installing the bracket now. Uh, 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 this table, remember these tables are adjustable. They all adjustable so you could adjust the height. If you're a taller guy, you need a table to be high. You could adjust the same thing with this. You could push it all the way to the front or you could push it back depending how comfortable you feel yourself, you know. You don't have to have it on the front. You don't have to have it on the back. But when we set up the table here, we like to push it all the way to the front. This is the front of the table, okay? Remember that this is the back. The wider part of the wood is the back and the narrow part of the, uh, of the table, that's the front. So we like to do it when we build the table. We push it all the way to the front, but it depends on the customer. If the customer wants to push it back, we could push it back. It, it's actually optional, but if you do it like this, you should be okay. Now we're just finishing, tighten up the bracket on the top. The back bracket is also tight. Remember, we're screwing these two screws first, giving it one inch in the front, and from the belt slot, from the belt slot one inch, and in the back of the table, we also give it an inch. Now that we have tightening both brackets, the back one and the one on the front, now we're gonna use our same tape measure and just make sure we got one inch here. Now that I have one inch, I'm gonna take my drill now, I'm gonna drill it in, just like that, And then on the front, I'm just gonna use the same drill to put another screw in. Now we're gonna we're gonna install the drawer. On the drawer, it comes with two sliders with this, like this. Pretty simple. There's no left or right, so there's no matter if you take this one and put it on the other side or put it over here. So this, as you can see, that little slide there. It's really easy. It just goes right into the drawer like that. Okay. Now that I have a first screw in on the front, now I wanna put my second screw on the back. I make sure I got two inches. Like I said, this is a plastic drawer, so you shouldn't have a big problem, you know. It doesn't have to be specifically straight, you know, you can move it to the back if you like more further back or more in the front. We like to build it like that. I think it's it's pretty comfortable the way it is right now, okay? Once you put the screws on the side, you just put the screw on the right side now, but remember the slide is both, both ways the same. No left or no right. It's the same one for both sizes, okay? We just finished setting up the table. Now we will make a second video to show you how to properly install the motor. Thank you for watching Robin from City Sewing in New York. Bye bye.